The six swings. The six swing state. The six swing states. The six swing states will swing state. Swing state. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why it's face. Okay, we'll just... Hi, it's Jen Akin. Welcome back to Way's YouTube channel. It's time for another exciting episode of Ask the Jen Election Edition. Let's get started. November 3rd. The big one is the presidential election, but depending on your state, there's a lot of other important races to vote on as well. Voting is your shot to say what kind of America that you want to live in. Since this country was founded, voting has been one of the most powerful tools available to citizens. So powerful that white men didn't legally extend the right to all Americans until 100 years ago, and they're still trying to prevent people from using it. Voting is an important part of activism that allows us to decide on our leaders, empower them to make the changes that we want to see, and hold them accountable when they break our trust or don't fulfill our expectations. When more people vote, especially those who have been historically disenfranchised from voting, America has a better shot at actually living the values that were claimed at the country's founding. We obviously have a lot of work to do, but voting is one of the most direct ways to get it done. COVID-19, social unrest, Black Lives Matter, economic recovery, and climate change. There's a lot of ways to do so online. If you're already on social media, you can register through Instagram or visit a site like Vote Save America. It only takes 30 seconds. So it depends on your state. 21 states allow you to register at the polls on election day, including California. But make sure that you register before your state's cut off. Yes. The majority of states are allowing absentee or mail-in ballots that can be submitted before voting day, and they're counted the exact same way. Don't worry about it. Just make sure that you're registered to vote before your state's cut off, and double check your state's eligibility at votesaveamerica.com. Yes, it really helps to make a plan ahead of time to find a polling place near you. Put it on your calendar and carve out enough time to vote. And share the info with your family and friends. Besides campaign shifting their presence more online because of safety precautions, there's a greater focus on voter registration. The biggest thing is to make sure you request an absentee ballot now and return it as soon as possible to make your vote count. Swing states or battleground states? Arizona, Florida, Michigan, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Wisconsin. When it comes to winning a presidential election, winning the popular vote isn't enough. As we saw in 2016, you can win the popular vote and still fall short if you don't win at least 270 electoral votes. The six swing states will ultimately decide who wins the election based on their competitiveness and their electoral votes. Don't bank on your state's past to determine future behavior. Only 55.7% of the citizen voting age population reported voting in the last presidential election, which means there's a lot of room for any state to be impacted by increased voter turnout. Plus, local and state elections can often come down to just a few votes. The Electoral College is a system where citizens indirectly elect the president and vice president through a body of 538 electors. Electors almost always cast their vote for the candidate who wins the most popular vote in their state. So the number of electors for each state matches the number of U.S. senators and representatives in each state. It's so confusing, I know. Two hundred and seventy. California with fifty-five. 
kind of a trick question because there's seven plus the District of Columbia, Montana, Alaska, North and South Dakota, Vermont, Massachusetts, Delaware, and Wyoming. It may be the most helpful to figure out what's important to you and establish where you stand. Also watch the debates so you can get information from there. Ballotpedia or Vote Save America have tools that allow you to type in your address and other information and context around who and what's on your ballot. You can also print out a sample ballot or save to your phone so you have it ready to go when you vote. Use election protection. If you're at the polls and experiencing voter suppression or something doesn't seem right, call 1-866-O-U-R-V-O-T-E, our vote, and they'll connect you with someone to advise you. You can also ask to speak to a supervisor on site. Fifty-five point seven 55.7%. 65 years and up. So millennial and Gen Z voters make up 37% of the 2020 electorate. Women. 63% of women voted while only 59% of men voted in 2016. And this ratio has been pretty much constant since the 1980s. January 6th. January 6th. January 6th. Susan B. Anthony. Passed by Congress June 4th, 1919 and ratified on August 18th, 1920. The 19th Amendment granted women the right to vote. Victoria Woodhull ran in 1872 before women had the right to vote. Must be at least 35 years old, must have lived in the U.S. for at least 14 years, and must be a natural born citizen. Democratic, Republican, Libertarian, Green Party, and Constitution Party. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you vote, like, and subscribe.